We know it's a war game scenario, that it has to do with airline counterterrorism. Why is it important enough to kill for? Because it's no longer a game. If some terrorist group wants to act out this scenario, why target you for assassination? Depends on who your terrorists are. The men who conceived of it in the first place. You're saying our government plans to commit a terrorist act against a domestic airline? There you go. Indicting the entire government, as usual. It's a faction. A small faction. For what possible gain? The Cold War's over, John. But with no clear enemy to stockpile against, the arms market's flat. But bring down a fully loaded 727 into the middle of New York City, and you'll find a dozen tin pot dictators all over the world just clamoring to take responsibility and begging to be smart bombed. I can't believe it. This is about increasing our sales. Mm -hmm. When? Tonight. How are you going to stop them? That's what it looks like. But there's what? Like, modem protocol. Remote access. Somebody on the ground flying your plane. Hold you, sir. Keep your course. I need to know our flight plan. I'm mapping the data now. Liars, your flight's gonna make an unscheduled stop in exactly 22 minutes. Corner of Liberty in Washington. Or Manhattan. Crash the plane into the World Trade Center. I'll tell the flight crew. Let. All right, try cutting electrical power. I thought of that. I thought of everything. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain speaking. We're experiencing some uh, technical difficulties up here. At this time, we'd like you all to return your seat. Kiss your asses goodbye. Finally, we're getting close. I know, I know. Damn it! New York Center, this is Atlantic National Flight 265 Heavy. We are declaring an emergency. We have 110 souls on board, 16,000 pounds of fuel, and no dangerous goods or cargo to report. Come on, bro, Hickey. Stop. I hope my next turnout is as nice as my last one.